Who are you? I ask you, who are you? I don't work for the public, who are you? Don't worry about it, I asked you a question, sir. I asked you a question, okay. who are you? Look, man, this is an active scene, so I'm gonna need you to step back. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this place is all about exploring our rights and responsibilities in public spaces. Today, we've got three really important clips to share, especially one that dives deep into the heart of the First Amendment and our right to record in public. Picture this, you're on a public sidewalk, just minding your own business, recording your surroundings. Suddenly a retired police officer comes up to you, clearly not happy about being filmed. What happens next? Hey, well, it involves some active duty police officers, a heated debate about what's legal versus what people feel comfortable with, and a serious look at what it means to stand up for your rights. I put all the original channel and video links in the description, so make sure to check them out. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. It's super important for us to stay informed and support each other in standing up for our rights. Who are you? I asked you, who are you? I don't work for the public, who are you? Don't worry about it, I asked you a question, sir. I asked you a question, okay. who are you? Look, man, this is an active scene, so I'm gonna need you to step back. Is, Wait, is there a crime scene? Yes, there's an active crime scene and there's a medical emergency. I'm gonna have to ask you to step back. Again, I can't comment who are any you? Further. I'm Florida Patrol, sir. Name? I'm asking you Badge to step number? away. I'm asking you to step Are you back physically up. trying to move me? Sorry, look, I'm... Yes, I am actively asking you to get out of the way. We've got emergency personnel on scene. Excuse me, I'm scared right now. What's Good, going on? Scared. Hey, what's you up, need Josh? to step out of the way, sir. Do you have a count on the I'm not going to say anything in front of this guy's camera. You don't want to move. Hey, what's up, bro? You might get in trouble. Why? What? You might get in trouble if you say something on camera? What's Sorry. going on, man? If you want to have a crime scene, you know what to do. I do know what to do, and I'm asking you to set okay, back. Okay, so where's the tape? Where's coming. the tape, bud? I'm sorry? Where's the tape? I'm not answering to you right now. Okay, I'm not answering to you. Bring a lot of people. That's what happens when Good Morning D Street knows their rights. You can't 148 Jimmy. I'm the press, buddy. You know very well, you know very well. You can't 148 G me. This is the public, man. Why are you so interested in me? I'm taking a call. I'm taking a call just as you're taking a call. I have business here just as you have business here. Come on, man. What's going on here? Why is he harassing me? Okay, so first of all- um, You can't 148 G me. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll respect their rights, but he has to respect mine. Do you understand that? Hey, Poss. Calm down, buddy. Hey, take your glasses off. I'm, I'm fine. He, he was trying to actually put hands on me over there. He cornered me. That is incorrect, sir. That is no, you, you're actually incorrect. I have it on video, sir. You'll be, you'll be actually, you'll, you'll actually see, buddy. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, you, you know what's up, but dude. You can't 148 Jimmy off the beach. You do this every morning, bro. You're not here every morning. I'm gonna make sure you don't violate anybody else's rights, buddy. Try and put hands on me, man. You can say that I put hands on you. That doesn't mean I put hands on you. That's right. You the see camera. this camera, buddy? The camera shows that I did not put hands on you. Who are you? What's your name? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's right. I don't answer to you. 
You don't answer to me. I answer to the public. All of the public can Right, you're a opinion. public servant, no, right? Opinion. So guess what? When I Look buy... Look 8 U.S.C. 111, sir. Guess what? You can't 148G me off of public... I don't public. know what 148G is. I'm a federal agent. Guess what? It doesn't matter to you, does it? No, it doesn't. The Constitution doesn't matter to you. The Constitution does matter to me. No, clearly it doesn't because no 148G. No further questions? No further it's questions. It's called no further answers, buddy. You're really smart. Asked you a question. In my view, this raises some serious concerns. First off, Filming in public spaces is generally protected under the First Amendment, especially if you're not obstructing police work or endangering anyone. The officer's attempt to force him to stop recording seems like an overreach, especially if he wasn't interfering with their investigation. It's understandable that police want to maintain control and ensure their work isn't compromised, but they need to balance that with respecting people's rights. Pushing someone to stop recording can escalate a situation unnecessarily and may violate their rights to document what's happening in a public place. The U.S. Constitution, particularly the First Amendment, guarantees freedoms concerning religion, expression, assembly, and the right to petition. And it explicitly prohibits Congress from restricting the press or the rights of individuals to speak freely. This foundational element of American democracy underscores the importance of transparency and accountability especially in interactions between citizens and law enforcement. The right to record police activity in public places serves as a critical check on power, helping to prevent abuses and ensure that officers act within the bounds of the law. Overall, it's important for officers to be aware of and respect the laws that protect citizens' rights to film in public. It's a way for accountability and transparency which are crucial in maintaining trust between law enforcement and the community. Officers should handle these situations with tact and awareness of constitutional rights, ensuring they uphold the law while respecting individual freedoms. And ensuring that both citizens and law enforcement officers understand and respect these rights is essential for maintaining a healthy, transparent, and- yeah. right the video, what the videos for? Uh, for me. Oh, okay. yeah. County manager. We're gonna add our That's strawberries. Cool. And then I love seeing this kind of stuff. That's awesome. So this is gonna go back. And we're we're you know I'll be here. Well, not really, not just you know, walking around. Oh, like who are this. you? Um, I'm the administrative assistant for oh. the um, county manager. Oh, cool. But usually you come in here if you have an appointment. Oh, oh, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's always open door here. Okay, well, come, if you can come out so I'm here. ahead, senior. Are you a, a MOA? Is that how you say it? Ema. Ema, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will here in just a minute. I just mm -hmm. want to take some picture and video of this wonderful city yeah. hall and just keep it real. Okay, well, come out, come out this way, please. Oh, here's the mayor's right there. Look, Lester M. Miller with yeah. the mayor. That's cool. Look at this. Isn't mayor Lester Miller? Yeah. Oh, we were just over there. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Wow, that's still beautiful. I don't understand why y'all doing the videos. Oh, we, we're just keeping it real. Keeping it real about what? Uh, just city hall. I just want to take some pictures. Wow, look at the architecture. This beautiful city hall. Oh. I, I just want to keep it real. Okay. That's all it is. She just kind of, I don't know what's wrong. She, just, she's kind of ruining my shot right now. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. She's like making it go wrong. Doctor. We probably should have permission from the mayor first before. Well, I, I, we've already, I've already got permission. Okay, but he, he didn't let us. No, no, no. I got permission from the owner of the building. Who, who owner of the building? Well, who do you think they are? Who do you think owns the building? I don't know. I just work here, but I know the mayor. <laughs> Runs this building. We're right, but who who do you think it is, though? Who do you think owns the building? You are. I'm waiting. You can tell. Who, who, who well, who owns the building? I don't know. Is, who? Well, I mean, is it well, is it a private building? building? Yeah. You, who are y'all here to see? I, I'm just keeping it real. What does that mean? I just want to take pictures and. Okay, film. sure, but not now. We let's go to the front and find out what we who you are looking. Sure, for. sure, sure. Okay, as soon, as, soon as I get done, I will. Thank no, you. no, you will leave right now. We have to leave to the front. Oh, why? Let's go, ma'am. Let's go. Because well, I'm asking you to. You're, at, well, if you're asking. If my name's Hillary. Hillary's my name. And hey, what's your name? Are you going to let me talk? What or? is your name? Betsy. Betsy what? Ross. Who are you with? Who am I with? I'm with myself. You okay. Why are you being let's so hostile? Because I can be. Because you can so be. Let's, so let's go to the front. Let's so what if front. I don't? I'm asking because I'll pull you to the front. You, and I will arrest you for criminal trespass. Oh, we don't know who you are. Oh, so That's gonna, the answer. So you're going to arrest me? Now, what's your name, sir? You don't have a name? You don't have a name? 
are you with the sheriff's office? Don't worry about that, but do you have a name? I don't answer questions. Okay, that's fine. Come outside, please. Outside, please. So you arrest me if I don't? So yes, I will. Okay, that's fine. You'll arrest us if we don't leave? Yes, yeah. I will. Where you, wow. Uh, City Hall? <laughs> Where am I going? Where Where am I going? Please, front office. Wow, if I say you'll arrest me if I don't. Wow. If you have waiting on somebody, you have to wait here in the lobby. If what? Say it again. What? If you wait for me, you wait here in the lobby. Uh, I want to take pictures of City Hall in the public. Well, that's fine. You can, you can do it in here, but not back there in the office. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not in there, sir. Sir. In here in the lobby. Sir. Not here. In the lobby, please. Stay just in the lobby, please. We have meetings going on back there. What meetings? Stay right here. I'll tell you that. You don't have to tell you what meetings? No, I don't have to tell you is what meetings. Is there a supervisor? No, it's not really in your business. Do you have a, you have a supervisor you, I can talk to? You have what? a supervisor yeah, I can Sheriff talk Davis. to? Can Sheriff I, Davis. Can I speak to your supervisor? Yes, you Where's he at? Uh, can you call him? Can you call him, sir? No, why don't you call him? Can we go can upstairs? You, can I speak no, you to cannot. a supervisor? No, you so you're, so you're refusing upstairs? access? Does the public go upstairs? They do at times. What are you here for? Oh, huh? I'm just keeping it real. Is this, what is that this, mean? Is this uh, City well, Hall? Well, well, what does that mean? You don't know where you are? I know where I'm at. I'm asking well, you. you ask well, because you're confused, well, apparently. I'm confused? You no, seem I like know it. who I am. No, I say you where you're You didn't even know at. your name. I did Make sure you my name well. Oh, Hillard. I am. Hillard, 400 is my, my oh, baby. Oh, good, good, good. I, I appreciate that you Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that's right. You will definitely see me again. Oh, that's wonderful. You will, in court. Here outside? No, no, no. Out in court, I Oh, I know where that's at. Is this is this the man in charge? You're a commissioner, sir. Are you a commissioner? I am. What's your name, sir? I got a meeting to be in. Oh, yeah, sure. Right now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, That's wow. Wow. You uh, violate people's rights. You get stripped. You you get stripped what, of your qualified. Right? You gonna let me talk? What, you get stripped right of your community. Right? You get. What, what right was? Uh, well, actually, violated? if you you want to look what up, right was are you gonna violated? let me talk? No, what right was I'm trying violated? to tell you. If you what shut up, right was violated. I, can I, I tell you? Your question. Can I answer your question? Yes, you gonna keep what, talking what over What right me? was, was uh, violated? So what? There. What right was violated? Are you gonna let me talk? Can you answer the question? I'm trying to, but you keep talking over me. No, I'm asking you a question. Can I answer the question? What right was violated? Can I tell you? Yeah, go ahead. So Catron v. St. Petersburg gives me the right to go into the public, uh, to get public Not services. Not without my permission. I don't, I don't need your permission. I, I don't need permission to sit there and, and, buy, and exercise my rights. Back you'll find you'll, you'll find out. Okay, that's fine. You will. That's fine. You will find out. I don't mind. That's fine. I make sure you don't delete that because you're just making a public record right now. Delete what? Your, your video. Why would I do that? Right here, sir. I'll direct you. Excuse me for a second. Look at that. Bumping into me. Excuse me for Wow. That's assault, sir. Shame. Everybody look at the face of tyranny in this country right here. In Macon, Georgia. They don't like freedom of press because they're hiding something. That's what he's doing. He's hiding something. And this is the, this is the strong one right here. I was really out. Like they, they were all over the building. And they we were in public they areas. Are. Don't don't let him lie. Don't know who they are. I don't have you don't need to. I'm not this is this is America. This is America. It's a Fourth Amendment. Hey, hey, just who are you again? And who are you? Okay. I don't need to calm down. This man just violated my rights. Ma'am. Oh my God, you're crazy. All right. No, no, no. Oh wow. Wow. So for oh exercising God. constitutional oh rights, I'm crazy. Wow. And who? Can I get her name, please? No. Why not? Ma'am. I'm asking what her name is. I'm doing. Let me, let me rephrase that. Under the Georgia Open Records Act, I'm requesting of, as a public record her name. Are you refusing that, sir? You just said you're the city uh, manager. You should know what the law is. I'd like to do a public record. I'd like to know her name, please. Send it to me in writing. Oh, I just gave it to you, and verbally. The law says that I can. Oh, that's fine. Are we this is the city manager. Taking pictures? There's a freaking American flag right there. Shame on you. You're hurting yourself. Shame. Probably. Look, look, look at all the information he left on the... On the don't care. We just park our car. Time out, division. Somebody parked it here. Ba oh, it is his car. Look, badge 400. That's, That's him. him. Yep, badge 400. Yeah. It's almost like choose your own adventure, but it's just like choose your own parking spot. Yep. Oh, I've got a question for you. Yes, sir. Um, the, it, does the code enforcement, do y'all write the tickets for the trap for the uh, parking spots, or is that a different department? That's a whole different department. Oh, okay. 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 I was okay. wondering because we got a deputy vehicle parked over there on the sidewalk. Don't deal with parking. <laughs> What's that? I do not Don't deal with parking. Yeah. I, I, what do you think is, I mean, I'm assuming you've been in code enforcement for a minute, right? Do you feel like a, 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 the sheriff's department's above the law and they should be able to park wherever they want? No. Okay, there you go. I appreciate yes. that. Thank you and God bless you. Yes. That's right. Exactly. Yes, That's right. the law. That's exactly right.
That's it, the whole point. I was a deputy. I retired from being a deputy. So he, he's parked up on the sidewalk like that. That's that. That to me is like it's showing that you're above somebody. You know what I mean? You talking about the car on the sidewalk? Yeah, right, right in front here. of city hall. Right in front of city hall. Unfortunately, if you wrote that guy a ticket, private security officer. Yeah. But oh. so so that, does that mean he's above the law? No, not at all. No, no, okay. No, 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 there you go. But so, that's why he's there. Oh, is that why he's there? Because he yeah. thinks he's special. No, because the mayor thinks he's special. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Public buildings are meant for everyone to use and are usually owned by the government, but how they're managed can be different. And this affects what people can do there. Some areas in particular are a bit tricky because they serve the public, but sometimes private companies or a mix of private and public groups run them. For example, if airports are public or private isn't clear cut, even though they're generally seen as public because they help the public and get federal money, some parts, like secure areas are restricted and might be considered private. This matters a lot when thinking about the right to record videos in these places. Usually you can record in public areas, but there are rules, especially in sensitive spots. Whether you need permission depends on where you're recording and why. Having press credentials, you know, can make things easier and show you're serious about what you're doing, but it's not a must according to the law. The right to record videos is for everyone not just journalists with special badges. However, some places, especially in sensitive areas, might have rules asking for extra permissions or credentials. When the police come while you're recording in public, the rule about showing eye can be different depending on where you are. In general, there's no federal law saying you have to show eye while doing legal things like recording in public. However, some state laws might ask for ID in certain situations. Knowing the legal limits of recording in public parts is important. While it's usually okay to, to record in public areas, filming in sensitive spots, like security checkpoints can be a problem. Breaking federal rules or compromising security can lead to serious consequences. The chance of getting in trouble for using freedom of the press in some sensitive areas depends on how while you're recording. The law usually supports the right to record in public spaces, but causing problems in sensitive areas or breaking specific laws might lead to legal issues. But they have to find a balance between keeping people safe and respecting their rights. This balance is super important to make sure authorities work well and everyone's rights are protected. Is this the hobby to video in as far as the sheriff's office and yes, sir. vehicles and county vehicles? Yes, sir. What's the purpose of it? Uh, it's just a hobby. It's just something I like doing. Is this the only place you video? Uh, no, sir. I do courthouses, sheriff's departments, police departments, anything public, publicly accessible. Okay. Are you from around here? No, sir. Okay. Where are you from? Um, a little old farther down the road. I'd rather not say. You? No, sir. I don't. Okay. Why don't you have ID? Uh, I don't you need to have one, do I? You can stop recording me. I record everything. You can stop recording me. Sir, I record everything. Okay. Well, I need, I need to... Uh, I need to have your name and um, your date of birth, please. Have I committed a crime? Well, it's, it's suspicious of the fact that you're back here at our courthouse and up on the courthouse steps and around out here video and yes, sir. the parking lots and stuff. So I take that as a suspicious activity. Is that a misdemeanor here. or a felony? Um, I need your I need your name and date of birth, please. And are you asking me or? Uh, yes, I've asked you. I ask you very nice. Well, I have the right to decline. I, I haven't yeah, broken a law. This is a. Have I committed a crime? Are you familiar with this? On private property. Is this private property? I didn't see any signs. Okay. If you can show me the signs, I'll gladly leave. Okay. Well, I see that. It's all right. Uh, I have no ill will intent. Me. I'm not here to cause any problems, any trouble. You're driving. You, walk, you just walk here? I, I don't answer questions. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine. We, we can... Am I being detained? For what crime? For what crime? This is not open to the public? video and county vehicles which is perfectly legal according to the 2010 DHS Home Homeland Security memo. Okay. That's fine. Use up on the courthouse steps at the yes, courthouse. Yes, sir. Video know up on our on the courthouse. And that's steps. that's public property. Okay. Have I committed a crime here? <clears throat> Two, one, one, six, yeah. 
Officer, have I committed a crime? I have no ill will, no ill intent. I'm not here to do any harm to anybody. You won't have a problem answering the question, man, so just stand out there. Am I being detained? Have I done anything wrong? He's saying I'm being detained. Well, if he says you're being detained, you're being detained. For what crime? You're not being arrested for a crime. You're being detained for an investigation. But you investigate first, then detain. No, sir. We're yes, sir. detained, so we can't investigate. Have I broken a law here? We're trying to figure that out now. Like what, what's, 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 what's the, the, the law that you suspect me of breaking? We'll, we'll find out it's a security risk of the fact that you're on the public prop on, on the property here after hours of government facility and that you're videoing this area and videoing the uh, the vehicles in this area and especially being up on at the courthouse videoing the area of the courthouse. Two, you're yes, resisting sir. the fact to give me a name. And North Carolina is not a stop and identify hour, state. But you are at this point, you're a secure, you are breaching the security of this place right is now. Is that a law? For here, this day and time, oh yes. This day and time? This day and time as far as security. How you doing? How are you? Good, you sir. You won't answer any questions that I ask. I've you. answered the questions. No, sir, you have. You I asked me what you, I ask you politely for just your name, date of birth, and you refuse to give me any information of who you are, and you're on a government facility. Pu Public property, and I was on my way out. I haven't broken any any laws. You were on the, you was up, up at the courthouse, when and I that is public in. property. I wasn't trying to break in. I have no ill will intent. I'm not here to do any harm. And you won't have a problem I'm just, giving us your name and date of birth. What do I need to do that for? Now you are obstructing, you are obstruct, obstructing and delaying the investigation here because I'm sorry, I just don't want anybody behind me. In order to instruct, I an in order to obstruct, I have to be. In suspicion of a crime. And you are in suspicion. What is the crime? The crime the, you're in suspicion of the fact that you are out here on a government facility. Public property. This is a government facility after hours and you are built and you are videoing the equipment and the courthouse. Which is perfectly legal according to DHS. The Department of Homeland Security issued a memo in 2010 and revised it in 2018 saying I have every right to do so. The eyes cannot trespass. I've done told you I have no ill will intent. I'm not here to do any harm. I have a problem with letting us check and who you are. We don't know who you are. You, you are, don't need know to know who I am. You could be a terrorist as I, far as we know. Do you, have you, if you're have, not, then it won't be a problem. Have you read the Department of Homeland Security memo? Are you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But the First Amendment cannot be deemed a suspicious activity. This is a First Amendment protected activity. It's activity when you're video and no, sir. facility. No, sir. The Supreme Court has already ruled suspicious activity cannot be a reason for the First Amendment. You cannot deem the First Amendment suspicious as suspicious can activity. Be as probable cause to hold you and detain you, especially until you give us your information of who you are. But what crime have I broken? And if you don't, then you are the And if you do not give us the information, you'll be arrested for this land of which is a misdemeanor. But in order to be arrested, I have to be suspected oh, yeah, of a crime. You produce us with your name and date of birth, your ID. That's okay, you I'm going to do it under the threat of duress. Since you have one, two, three, four, five, and three officers on this side coming around, you know that that puts we've me asked, in harm's way. And, and I've been very polite with you. And I do not have it. And I will give you my name and date of birth under the threat of duress. Sir, sir, this is gonna be your last chance. Then I'm gonna place you under arrest. Okay. Is that I'm, the land of I'll give you my name, yes, sir. See, that's all it took for us to check and make sure that you was okay, that you didn't have any warrants on you, that you wasn't a threat to us, but. We appreciate that you don't come on this property after hours because it is a closed facility. When it's open, that's a different story, okay? Suspicious that you are here, so we're asking you to not come back on this property. And I'm on my way out. out as soon as this and is that's over. that's fine. I appreciate your cooperation. That's all it would have took. You wouldn't have had to go this far, you understand? Yes, sir. You Can I get good? your name and badge number, please? You have a good day. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, it's right here. You got a video. Have a good day. Poplin, badge number is... He doesn't want to give me his badge number.
I'm going out this way. Is that fine? All right, guys. Threatening someone with arrest simply because they refuse to provide their identity while engaging in lawful activities, such as recording in a public space, it goes against the principles enshrined in the Fourth and First Amendments of the U.S. Constitution. These amendments safeguard individuals from unreasonable searches and seizures and uphold the freedom of the press. It is essential to understand that individuals are not obligated to disclose their identity to law enforcement unless there is reasonable suspicion that they have committed a crime. In this particular scenario where no unlawful activity has occurred, there is no basis for demanding identification. Law enforcement officers are granted significant authority, but with that authority comes a responsibility to exercise it judiciously and within the confines of the law. You know, when officers threaten arrest without a valid legal justification, it constitutes abuse of power. Moreover, it's important to note that legal recourse doesn't necessarily require an actual arrest to be initiated. The mere threat of arrest for engaging in lawful behavior can have a chilling effect on an individual's willingness to assert their rights. This chilling effect can stifle transparency and accountability in law enforcement practice. People may feel intimidated and reluctant to document police activities, even when doing so serves the public interest. However, it's crucial not to allow such intimidation tactics to deter individuals from exercising their right. Standing up against such injustices and holding accountable those who violate legal protections is paramount. While it may be challenging, pursuing legal avenues to address misconduct ultimately serves to uphold the principles of justice and equality under the law. Therefore, it's imperative to remain steadfast in advocating for one's rights and challenging unlawful actions by law enforcement. By doing so, individuals contribute to the preservation of civil liberties and the promotion of accountability within society. Filming in public is a right protected by the First Amendment, which guarantees freedom of expression and information gathering courts have consistently said that taking photos and videos in public is a crucial part of free speech and press. This was confirmed in cases like Glick versus Cunniff, where the courts acknowledge that people have a protected right to record public officials in public places. In the video, the people argue that they have the right to film on a public easement, supported by legal cases that distinguish public areas from restricted state property. They say public easements are meant for everyone, including filming and point to public utilities in the area as evidence that it's intended for public use. The correction officer's questioning of the filming authorization shows a possible misunderstanding of state policies versus public rights. While security is important, especially near a correctional facility, it needs to be balanced with constitutional rights. The suggestion to contact a public information officer for permission. While following institutional rules seems to clash with the broader legal permission for public filming, while law enforcement has a valid interest in security, it must be done without violating constitutional rights. The debate is about whether the precautions suggested by the officer are reasonable or if they go too far and limit public freedoms, the main point of the interaction is the argument about jurisdiction. Made by the photographers by saying they are on a public easement, they highlight a crucial legal boundary for their right to film. The difference between public and state property is important, showing that while there may be some restrictions on state property, public spaces have broader legal protections. We wanna hear what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your voice is important in shaping discussions on important topics. Let's keep exploring, asking questions, and getting involved in the world to make sure our rights are respected and our communities are safe.